Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are on block 11 from the Riley Blake block challenge and this looks like it's going to be another fun block. It does not look like it'll be difficult to put together at all. Um, just a few half square triangles and then some simple squares and it just comes together. So I'm really excited about this one. Let's get started. Okay, so I feel like I'm just like perpetually behind on this block challenge. I have um, block 12 already printed out um, and ready to go because I'm that far behind. Thankfully, this week is the rest week because one of these blocks comes out every Tuesday except for the last Tuesday of the month. So hopefully I just get caught up today. I should be able to get both of them done because they really don't take that long. I just probably like you have a lot of other stuff going on, um, a lot of other commitments and then projects that I want to work on. I have more projects than time. Um, I really got started on this beautiful baby quilt um, and I finished the top and I really want to quilt it, but I also have all these other things that I want to get done too. Um, but isn't this just a really cute pattern? I love it. I already have two other um, designs planned out with using that pattern because I had so much fun with it. Um, it's called Zesty Quilt and I think it's from Patchwork and Poodles. I'll put a link um, or more details in the description if you like that quilt, but it was a lot of fun to piece. It was challenging, but a lot of fun watching it come together. Uh, now I'm rambling about stuff that isn't anything to do with this. So let me show you the fabric I'm using on this one. So this is the folktale line of fabric and it is lovely. Um, I didn't have enough creams in just the folktale. So like I said, I pulled some creams from other lines to add in. Um, so what we're doing here is this lovely polka dot is going to be used in place of la creme. Then I have the Moss Swamp and Cape Verde. So I have these two here for the greens and this um, brown I'm gonna use in place of the blue. I just, I tried um, some of my blues stacked together with this set and I just did not like the way um, the blue looked with it. So I decided to do the greens and the brown. So, um, you know, if you see a color scheme on a pattern, and you think something else will work better just don't be afraid to you know go with what you're what you're thinking all right so i'm going to start cutting these well i'm going to iron them first cut and put it together so i don't think it'll take long at all on this one Okay, you can see that you can already put together a lot of the layout for the block. We just need to sew these together into half square triangles and then we're going to trim them to two and a half inch squares. So um, I'm just gonna you put them right sides together and then sew um, a quarter inch from either side because each of these is going to need to make two. Um, so so a quarter inch from each side of the center. I'm going to use 
normally I would draw down the center, but I started really um, getting pretty good at using the uh, Cluck Cluck Go um, tape that you tape onto your machine. You'll see it when I sit down to sew. So um, for these, we're going to sew along either side down the center. And because when I sit at the machine and sew, I like to um, get as much stuff done as possible before I have to get up and press, I'm also going to go ahead and sew my center row together because per the instructions, we're going to sew um, strips after we get everything together. And since this one you can see is already ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and sew it. And if you notice the half square triangles, it shows you to press to the darker side and then press the seams um, in opposite directions on each row. So I'll go ahead and do that as well. Um, so yeah. Oh, um, you can see here I'm using um, fabric that has directions, um, like the pattern goes in a certain direction. These are just stripes. I liked the way the center looked um, going in an opposite direction than the other blocks. So that's just preference. Okay, here is block 11 all finished. This is the pattern glint. And I think it turned out really cute. It was really easy to put together a very simple block. I quite enjoyed it and I think it looks really nice. So I'm gonna quickly show you all of the rest of the blocks I have from the block challenge. They're not in any particular order because I keep laying them out all together in different ways just to see how the quilt will eventually look when I put them all together. So here we go. And there we go. So that is all of them from the block challenge so far. And then I'll be putting together the nine patch star next. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Bye.